pressure a little bit and talk about the major thing of this evening. And why I'm talking about business travel, you may wonder, because I told you already that we are very strong in the OTA, so online travel agency segment. So obviously if we are strong in one segment, we would like to be very strong in the other segment too. And the other segment is business travel. But I'll also tell you why it is so interesting about business travel. Because it's big. You know, this data shows you that it's big and it's growing. So for Europe, actually it shows the growth. Um, and in Eastern Europe, it's a 70% per annum. Uh, the value of business travel is growing every year. So basically it's growing in Europe, but it's decreasing in Romania. As far as I understood. Well, it may be a mix, but uh, depending on the markets, of course, uh, it could be different. But in general, yes, it's growing. Um, the total volume is growing. Mm -hmm. And I think the uh, slide of Anka wasn't just business travel, it was the general market uh, behavior. And then within business travel, we have different um, segmentation as well. So we have. Uh, but you know, this is total. Total market for Europe is growing. For Eastern Europe, is growing as well. And that's why it is interesting for us because we want to invest in the channel which is growing. And that's why um, that's one of the reasons. Uh, there are other reasons as well. It's more uh, uh, a busy slide here, but let me explain. Um, how many of you are familiar with Generation Y term? Generation Y. Okay, a few of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. After today, you will all be aware of what Generation Y is. So, this guy, Generation Y, is actually everyone who was born less than 35 years ago. So, uh, people that were born less than 35 years ago are so-called Generation Y. Obviously, there's, a, uh, there's another group of people within this group called Generation Z, but we'll leave the Generation Z for now. They are still very small. <laughs> So let's look at the Generation Y. The Generation Y are people that were born with some digital toys around them already. So they, the, the way they consume the, uh, the world is different because they expect everything to be available online, everything to be available to them through mobile technology. And uh, they are very much very heavy, heavily dependent on Google. So this generation Y is growing and they become more and more important in this channel, in the business travel channel, because they become the consumers. And what's happening right now is the, uh, something like um, uh, what we call CBT adoption. The CBT is another acronym for something that, is, that means corporate booking tool. Mm -hmm. A corporate booking tool, sometimes called also self-booking tool, it's basically a tool that you can use for booking a travel for yourself. And it's pretty similar to things that you can do on the website, on the public websites like vola.ro, for example. But corporate booking tool, by definition, does a lot more than just the booking. It does reporting, expense report, approval processes, etc. So uh, what, we are, what we are trying to say here is that Generation Y would like to book the same way they book travel right now for their individual uh, travel, but they would like to do the same for their business travel. And it's not happening right now. So that's another reason why we are investing in this channel, because we believe we have a value proposition in this channel. Uh, what, else import, uh, what else I can tell you about Generation Y? So if you, if you look on this side of the slide, this is basically the process of uh, arranging travel. So planning, shopping, booking, payment, pre-trip preparations, travel services, post-travel support, evaluation, etc. The, the reason why the mobile phone is in the middle of that is that current expectation from generation Y travelers is that this is available through mobile technology. And on the right hand side, you can see that mobile usage for particular uh, activities related to booking travel it's already looking pretty impressive and pretty promising for the future. So, search of the travel on the model is more than 20%. The itinerary is so basically looking at your travel plan on the mobile phone is becoming more and more popular because people don't want to print it out, don't want to carry the paper. They want to have access to their travel at any time and everywhere they are. So, we believe that the future of business travel. The development will be very much focused on allowing the travelers to book online 
when they want, what they want in their language and with the local support, but also to be available on the mobile technology, so mobile phones and mobile devices like iPad and etc. So that's another reason why we as Travelport decided to invest into this channel. And that brings me to the moment when we can announce something which is called TripGate. So TripGate is our corporate booking tool and as I explained uh, before, it's either called corporate booking tool or, or self-booking tool that allows travelers to book their travel, but it's not just for the booking. The purpose of a corporate booking tool is to make, um, to meet a lot of requirements of companies, of businesses that are related to business travel. So let's have a look at what it is. So basically, a corporate booking tool is an engine. It's an engine that allows you to book several services uh, online, but in a very special way. So the special way means that this is custom made for a particular company. So you can respect the travel policy, which I think will be explained later during the demo, what travel policy is. Uh, you can have a very clear approval process, which means that not everyone can travel and buy travel the way they like, but it has to go through the approval process. So by this you can limit the unwanted travel. And then, which is uh, also very important, the reporting. So reporting of all the services purchased during the uh, usage of TripGate. So in general, this is, this is what corporate booking tool is. And I would also like to explain um, how are we doing this. So we have uh, built this with a partner. This partner is called TravelTag. It's a company based in, uh, in Poland. And today we have a representative of Travel Tech with us. And if you can just wave your hand, Pavel. Pavel is sitting over there. Mm -hmm. So later on, if you have any questions, Pavel works for Travel Tech, a developer development company that built the solution together with us. And the way we built it, we also have invited a few customers to be pilot customers. So we are not building it the way we want to build it but uh, it was very much driven by customers' needs. And those customers are travel agencies that work um, with corporate travelers. One of them was based, is based in Russia, the other one is based in Poland. So the combination of both gives us a very good perspective on the travelers' and business travelers' needs across Russia and Eastern European markets. It doesn't mean that the, pro the product is completed and finished and no changes will be done. Of course, there will be because the more countries we implement it to, the more different requirements we learn. And the flexibility is one of the assets of our project because we are flexible to change things um, uh, dedicated to Eastern Europe. So, um, what it does, I said uh, already uh, before that the power of TripGrid is actually three things. It's the local content, the local language, and the local support. All these three local things differentiate us from competition. None of our competitors is offering a solution that meets these three criteria. And that's the power and our advantage, and I think it's a good foundation for our success in Eastern Europe, and potentially also beyond Eastern Europe, because the product is scalable and can be used anywhere in the world. We also like to call our product a simple, fast and reliable solution for travelers because this is exactly what we want them to think about this product as in nowadays there are so many complicated things that take time, take an effort to understand and they are not reliable. We want to build a solution and I think we achieved that, the solution that uh, gives this free advantages as well. And um, of course, there's no investment in the IT and the navigation is very much intuitive. And I will stop talking about TripGit right now and I uh, suggest that we go into a demo. Uh, before we go to the demo, there is a short slide to summarize what it does. It's all about savings, basically saving time and saving money because uh, we want this to be uh, the major benefits of the companies, but I would focus on something which is 
probably not on this slide, is the freedom, freedom of travelers to actually maintain and manage their travel during the process from the beginning to the end. Because many of you probably use um, travel services frequently and you see the difference between contacting a travel agency, asking them for a best possible option, getting the options, reviewing them, feeding back your comments, getting the options again, etc., etc. It's a lot of time involved in it. And if you can manage it yourself, it gives you the freedom. So you can do it on Sunday afternoon or Monday, 4 o'clock in the morning when you feel like it. And you don't have to be um, so much reliant on the travel agency and their times of operations. So even though it does a lot of these things that you can see on the screen, for me the most important one is the freedom of business travelers. And this is our goal and our aim when we develop the product to make sure that this freedom is uh, fully um, understood by our customers. So, um, <clears throat> I will leave you with this in mind and let's start a demo.